is for is is going to be for the chips. And um, so I also have oh I didn't bring the third one down. Did we get it? We're good. Um, that compost bucket from upstairs on the sink by the paper by the sink. But that's compost there. But I compost compost, and I was going to put another one. I didn't see it here. So um, basically, you're going to peel it like this with your knife. So peel around it. Once you get it peeled, then you can start to cut it up into cubes. And this recipe, I realized it doesn't. I, I typed it up. Cut your carrots, cut your squash, cut your onions into about half-inch dice. It doesn't say that. And I'll remind you. Once this is done, I'm going to just do this one part for you guys. So you can kind of see. I'm going to. You're going to slice it, and I have a little mini mandel in here for you to use when you slice it. Um, just stick in the sink. Some, so th these two people, these two patients can use that one. Well, everybody's going to have to cut squash. More than just Sean. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. And um, so this is this part here. So that's kind of what you do. You peel it like that. Um, it, it, I've got a couple of black peelers over there that you could maybe use on the delicata squash, but the, it's really a good way to break your peelers. Um, so this is the little mandolin that you're going to use to make chips. So you just kind of go like this, and it'll slice nice little thin pieces here. So you can do that when, when you get to that point here. And this is a ceramic mandolin, and people think this thing isn't sharp because it's not metal. It's really sharp, and I would even encourage you to use this little cutting glove. It's like for keeps you from cutting your hand, which I've done many times. So I use that. Oh, Larry, did you put this here? What? No. Oh, well, here's the thing that you've lost. Okay, good. <laughs> and, then, and then do the same thing. If anybody gets out of line here. <laughs> so this is this. Um, anything that you don't see here, if it's spices, I've got spices here that are used in more than one recipe in the middle of this table. So look here. Um, where do, oh, could you? Oh, this is where the blender goes. Okay. This one? Yeah. So there's a Cuisinart down there, blender here, um, plugging into the table. Um, and then in the refrigerator, there's stuff too. Like your lime juice is already squeezed in the refrigerator, that kind of stuff. So that's this one. Wow, you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> that's because I got about 100 limes this summer and I juiced and froze all the juice. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Um, okay, um, we're going to make a salad, and this is the salad station here. And it's a roasted butternut, it's, it's a delicata squash salad. So this is the delicata squash salad. Basically, you're going to um, peel it the same way, cut it in half, scoop out the seeds, cut it into little pieces, and um, you got to cook it. And this gets cooked on a sheet pan. And I didn't get your sheet pans out. But um, sheet pans are over here. So you just throw it on a pan, and we'll put it in the oven upstairs. Did you leave that oven on? I meant to tell you to leave it on. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll put it upstairs. Um, it'll, it tells you how to do it. And then the dressing is a cooked dressing. So you've got a little pot, and you can use this burner to cook your dressing. Yeah, that's their pot. Okay. This thing keeps appearing. <laughs> he want, just wants to make sure you're thinking of it. Damn, okay. men. Bad, do bad dog. Yeah. <laughs> I relate to you. We all do. So, it really helps my dogs remember what they're supposed to do. Okay, over here, you're going to make a quinoa and pumpkin stew. The pumpkin, I tried to see if you could peel it with a peeler, and I didn't use these mighty peelers, but I'm, so I'm going to give it one more shot here. But I, you know, it's really, no, you got to use a knife, so it's really hard. Got to peel those. 
You may not need all of them, these little baby pumpkins. These are like pie pumpkins. And, and I have the quinoa here. Um, I have like this kind and the red. I don't, I think if, um, I think the red mixed in looks really pretty. Um, if you eat just the red, I think it's just too grassy. It tastes yeah. funky to me. Yeah. But I think it would be nice to mix like maybe a quarter of this and then that. And um, here's a, to wash the quinoa. Quinoa is, um, you know, is a, needs to be washed a lot or it tastes like yeah. grass and dirt. Right. So, um, so that's the quinoa stew. So somebody just work on that because it's a little burner. Over here we're going to do acorn squash stuffed with wild rice. This is probably the one that you need to get going the fastest because wild rice takes about 45 minutes to cook. So I would like pop that wild rice on this right here in this pot, get it cooking. Halfway through it says to add brown rice. And then somebody else can cut these acorn squash in half and these have to get roasted in the oven too. So um, we'll do that. And so there's that. And then this is dessert. We're going to make little squash cakes with kabucha squash. These guys these are Japanese squash. And um, they're going to get baked in these little teeny ramekins here. So um, this recipe is, um, let's see here. So um, there's two parts to this recipe. There's a brown sugar cream that uses gelatin. And the last thing I brought down here was my little envelope. Did you make that a day ahead? I didn't. We're going to use an ice bath and chill it down. Boy, we got some pros in here. No, this uh -oh. recipe. <laughs> Which I can't find. I may have to go get another little thing of gelatin. Anyways, the first thing you should do is make that cream <laughs> if you're working on that. And chill it down so we can... Do you need anything upstairs? I can't find a little thing of gelatin, though. Hmm. I'm checking the car. I have, I have tons upstairs, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't know where we're going to do stuff. It's a little envelope. Anyway, so go ahead and do the, do the cream and then do the little cakes. And we'll bake them in the oven. And then the re other recipe you have is a, a, a hazelnut, butternut squash lasagna. I, I kind of felt like when I... I, I put this menu together. I was kind of, you know, I was in a hurry to get it done so people could sign up. And I did the quinoa and I did the wild rice and I realized they're really kind of similar. And so I decided I really wanted to do this lasagna, so I made it. It's upstairs. We'll get to have that. You get to try that. Oh, but, you know, oh. It's, <laughs> it's a freebie. Okay. So, um, how many people are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I Sandy, know. 12, and Bill Rowley. 12, 13, and there should be somebody that's missing. There should be 14, but anyway. So we've got five stations, so divide yourself up in like twos and threes, and have at it. <laughs> and I'll help you. I'll come and help you. Yeah. So what do they do? They pick, they pick out? No, two. So oh.